Hey everyone, my name is Brian Ingalls and I'm the Director of Training and Development at Lendio. Lendio is the nation's leading small business loan marketplace and we offer a variety of solutions to help all small business owners, including PPP loans. Lendio has facilitated, to date, more than $9 billion in PPP loan approvals. Today I'll be answering the most frequently asked questions about the PPP application process. So borrowers just have to apply for loan forgiveness through their lender. The lender then submits their application to the SBA on behalf of the borrower. Borrowers may not directly submit their application to the SBA for forgiveness. There are three different applications to choose from and they depend on a couple different things. First of all, if you received your PPP loan and it was less than $150,000, then you can easily fill out the simple form, which is the 3508S. If you receive more than $150,000 and you don't qualify for the S form, then there is an easy form that has three criteria to meet. If you don't qualify for the easy form, then you'll fill out the full 3508 normal form. Everyone who applies for loan forgiveness is required to have copies of their bank statements, a government-issued photo ID, and their SBA loan number. Additional documents will need to show how the loan was spent. Things here might be included would be owner compensation, payroll costs like salaries, wages, benefits, and then also mortgage interest payments, rent or lease payments, and utility expenses. No, nope. you will need to complete a loan forgiveness application with each unique loan. The great thing is, if you've done it one time, the second time will be very simple. So once you submit your application to your lender, they'll have up to 60 days to review everything. If the document is approved, they will then send it on to the SBA. The SBA has up to 90 days to look over your application and get back with your loan forgiveness amount. So the great news is if your loan was $150,000 or less, then you simply need to submit the one page application from the SBA that lists the following. First, your SBA PPP loan number and the lender PPP loan number, your PPP loan amount, the PPP loan disbursement date, the number of employees that you have at the time of the loan application, and then that same number at the time of the forgiveness application, the covered period, the amount of the loan spend on payroll costs, and the requested loan forgiveness amount. The new bill also reduced the record retention requirements for these loans for business owners to keep four years for their, their employee records, and three years for their compliance records. To make loan forgiveness a little bit easier, Lendio has several accessible resources for small business owners. First of all, Lendio's Sunrise bookkeeping platform is free and allows you to link your bank account so you can then easily track your expenses. We also offer a PPP loan forgiveness application checklist dozens of insightful articles, a searchable knowledge base, and of course a live support team with loan forgiveness advisors to answer all your specific loan forgiveness questions. <music>